Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's installment of Align's Daily Dose of Advice, our way of bringing you valuable insights and thought leadership from business experts from around the world on various topics that hopefully will help you and your business. As usual, my name is Eugene Turk. I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Align. You can learn more about Align at aligntoday.com. My guest today is Dave Ramos. Dave is an author, speaker, and CEO of Shift Points Incorporated. Uh, prior to founding Shift Points, Dave was in senior leadership at Nortel, IBM, and Answer Logic. Dave has an MBA from Harvard Business School and has written three books, including his most recent entitled Drive One Direction How to Unleash the Accelerating Power of Alignment. Dave, nice to see you. Hopefully, things are well. Great. Thanks for having me, Eugene. Uh, Dave, as we uh, enter what may be the third, maybe fourth week of stay-at-home orders in many states, uh, companies may now have moved past the chaos phase in response to the crisis and are settling into a new normal, whatever that may be. Um, many now have workforces that obviously are working from home. Some have started pivoting their product or service offerings or others may simply be hunkering down and trying to weather the storm. So uh, from your perspective, how should companies adjust their strategy in light of the current economic crisis? Well, the number one thing we're uh, suggesting for all of our clients is to improve and tighten their focus. And so we have a little tool we use with them. We call it the who, what matrix. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine, um, a two by two matrix or a multi-dimensional matrix or a spreadsheet where on the bottom dimension you have you list all of the different market segments you compete in mm -hmm. and for some companies that's one for some companies that's multiple and on the vertical axis you list all of the uh, products or services you sell so now you have a, a grid and then if you start then using that grid to say let's map our current revenue into that grid. Mm -hmm. And so you can start to see the density of your revenue and you can see the outlier areas where, uh, frankly, you're dabbling, where you have a, you know, a couple percent of revenue in one product, in one market. Then uh, did it for the profitability of those segments. What you're learning is that the clients um, that are dabbling, they're generating revenue, but not profitability. Mm -hmm. And so this tool can help you think through uh, where to focus and where to prune. And, and so uh, we have a line with you, we use it with our clients. Dabbling never wins. And while the economy was good and, and growing, a lot of companies got away with it. Um, Mark Cuban has a line, he, he calls it drowning in opportunities. In other words, as you start to succeed with your company, you, uh, you have opportunities to expand into new products or expand into new geographies. You know, let's open a second office or a third office or let's you know, go to Europe or wherever we're gonna go. And it's very easy to start saying yes to all those opportunities because you know, you're an aggressive, opportunistic entrepreneur. The problem is that eventually when the economy flattens or, in, or goes down, God forbid, that uh, that exposes the, the, the areas where the dabbling is, um, is causing you profitability problems. So going through this process of saying, let's get intensely focused on, and, and let's think about uh, a market where we can become the dominant market share player in that segment because we know that uh, in every industry it's the it's the dominant market share players that control the vast majority of the profitability and so the difficult process of saying we're going to exit that market or we're going to stop building that product we're going to shut down that office and and we're going to do that so we can double down our investment in the market segments where we do have the opportunity to become number one or number two 
And um, although, you know, the end of this crisis, no one obviously has the uh, ability to forecast when that's going to happen. But in your mind, what will separate uh, the companies that end up winning from those that end up losing uh, when we finally do get through this disruption? Yes, well, we will get through this. We know that it's a cyclical, um, the economic cycles will happen. But the winners, um, really, you'll know different than the winners at any time. The winners are gonna be the companies that create a clear and compelling and differentiating competitive advantage. It's just that simple. Yeah. They have a clear, compelling and differentiating competitive advantage. And so uh, most companies don't have one. According to our research, we asked you know, CEOs, explain to me what your competitive advantage is. We asked salespeople, how do you differentiate your company? Really what makes your, your company unique and different um, and most, most people, most salespeople, most executives struggle to answer that question. They might throw out some words and blah, 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 but it's, it's not really compelling. It's not really differentiating. And so back to my our first question about focus, you know, part of the, the, the discipline of focus then is to say, now that we're focused, what can we use as a point of differentiation within that, uh, within that area of focus? And you really have to have both. And so in terms of finding that area of focus and differentiating yourself from the rest of the marketplace or the rest of your competition, you know, how, how do you prepare yourself for success in doing that? What are the sort of the, uh, examples of companies that have done that or, or sort of exercises or techniques to implement to be able to get to that stage? Yeah, it's a great question, Eugene. When we started working uh, in the consulting world uh, 12 years ago, the number one problem we found with our clients was that they were unfocused and undifferentiated. Many of them were inspired by the Jim Collins hedgehog idea mm -hmm. and yeah. were trying to apply that to what they were doing, but frankly, they found it too complicated. And so actually, I wrote a book about this. My, my book is called Decide One Thing, and uh, here's what the cover is. And uh, as uh, before I forget, uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows, as I'll be happy to send free of charge anybody who wants a copy of this book uh, just connect with me on LinkedIn or uh, via shift points. But uh, the, the idea is, is this. You have to be good at lots of things. But the way to create a differentiating competitive advantage is to be the best in the world at one thing. So what I would ask customers to think about is, what could we become the best in the world at doing? And, and obviously, um, the, the narrower your scope, the more... That very uh, simple question, what can we be the best in the world at doing? And, uh, you know, the world's a big place, so the starting port process is to narrow your, your scope, make your world smaller. And so you may not be the best dry cleaner in the world, but you might be the best dry cleaner in the 20165 zip code, for example. Right. So go through that process of, of uh, figuring out what's your differentiating competitive advantage. Um Obviously, having written a book about alignment uh, and driving one direction, why is company alignment uh, around one or maybe two critical priorities so important, particularly at a time like this for companies that really want to get through this crisis? Yes, because um, absent that alignment and that clarity, well-meaning people come to work every day and they do the wrong thing. They didn't mean to do the wrong thing. But they, but they didn't, they weren't clear on what the right thing was. And so, as uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Align tool, uh, tool set that you provide with your software, because it allows us to connect the dots between the corporate strategic plan mm -hmm. and everyone's to-do list. Yeah. And in an environment where uh, all of a sudden, you know, because of the COVID, everyone's strategic plan is essentially obsolete. You have to rebuild the plan. You have to recast the targets, and then you have to be able to recommunicate what the new priorities are in this new world order. And you need to be able to do that at scale extremely quickly. Mm -hmm. And so this, this is uh, what you have to be able to do to create the kind of alignment. And alignment's a multidimensional thing. Obviously, you want people to behave uh, with behaviors that are in alignment with your values. Um, you, you want the corporate strategy to create alignment with market opportunities. 
um, and you want everyone's to-do list to be in alignment with what the strategic priorities are. And so uh, going through the process of making sure that those strategic priorities are crystal clear, they're communicated to people so they don't understand exactly what's important, uh, wh what are we gonna stop doing in light of the COVID, what are the things that we need everyone to double down on, and then uh, using a tool like Align to create the kind of uh, continuous reinforcement and clarity and focus so that uh, e everyone uh, knows that they're working on the things that are most beneficial to the company. And right now, we can't waste, we can't waste any time working right. on the wrong things. Um, Dave, a uh, final question that I ask everyone that appears on the Daily Dose of Advice. What is the number one piece of advice that you are giving your uh, coaching clients right now? Well, it's the advice also I'm applying for myself, and that is to go outside and get some fresh air. And if you can, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, have a nice little backyard like yours there, Eugene, or uh, go for a walk and get some air. Because we're all feeling, you know, confined. I know I feel confined being inside. And a little bit of sunshine, fresh air, and vitamin D uh, is a healthy thing. Um, and uh, that's what I'm doing. That's great advice. You know, I, I think I joked with you earlier that I had been put out into the backyard with the dog just because my wife has taken the, in, the, the office in the house. So uh, while we are here in New Orleans, the weather is nice. I don't mind being outside in the backyard. So I'm getting plenty of fresh air per your it's, advice. Look, it's a stressful time and, yeah. and need to get outside, get some exercise, get some air, you know, because you're, for all of the, the people watching this that are in leadership, you know, your team needs you. They need you to be the best and they need you to have clarity of thought and you know you need to take care of yourself and so you can provide what your team needs. Uh, Dave, it's always a pleasure hearing from you and seeing you. Thank you for joining us, sharing your thoughts and advice. If you'd like to learn more about Dave, please check out shiftpoints.com. Also want to repeat Dave's generous offer that if you uh, send him either through LinkedIn or through Shift Points, uh, your mailing address, he will be happy to drop a copy of that book uh, to you. Decide one thing. Uh, as always, if you'd like to learn more about Align, please check out aligntoday.com. And we hope you will join us next time. Till then, it's very windy, but thank you so much. And we hope you make it a great day. Thank you.